Hi everyone, my name is Heather. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well today. So I am just flipping through this little mini booklet that I shared the other day. I have a video previous to this one where I showed you how you can create this little mini book. And I will link that in the description. If you're watching this and you haven't seen that one, you might want to check that out because I show you how you can assemble the little booklet and put it all together. And then I've had a lot of questions about can I show you guys like after I finished working in it a little bit, can I show a flip through? And then I've also had lots of questions about papers and the stencil that I use. So I think I'll just go over all of that with you today. And then also I'm going to later in the video show you how you can create this gold, this gold tape. So for the little mini booklet, um, I created the cover in the first video, but then I added some of this collaging, like I came in and put some book pages here, a little bit of this fabric, and then some gold tape here, which is so pretty. Then when you open up the little mini book, on this part, I put, you are beautiful, and I love that because just a little reminder for myself, for everyone, and then you open it up and it says, every time I meet a strong person, I want to know what darkness did you conquer? And I think that really speaks for what makes people beautiful. You know, I definitely think that the older we get, the more we grow, the more beautiful we become. So on this side, I just added a little bit of, just a little piece of silk ribbon there. And on this page, I had a lot of people question about this lattice pattern. And this is actually a stencil. I got this on Amazon, so I will link that below. And I used texture paste to create that. It's really pretty. And I just put it on a little book page. And then um, for this little butterfly girl, I added a little bit of sparkly tool to her face and I glittered the wings a little bit. And then I added this little question, can you see how beautiful you are? And it kind of goes with this back here where it says, every time I meet a strong person, I want to know what darkness did you conquer? Can you see how beautiful you are? And I did that because I really believe that like the more we go through, like the older we become, the the more seasons we go through, like the more beautiful we are. So that is what I did to that page. And then I created this little tag, which is just like from scraps that I had in my bin. And then this page, I did not do much. And then on this, oh, this is my favorite. I love this page spread. It's so pretty. And I love this quote, silly girl, you're different was you're beautiful all along. So in this pocket, I love these little girls. And I think that goes so cute with that quote. They have their little, their little wands and they're just adorable. And then I forget what kit the, these girls are in, but I will make sure I link in the description box because they are in my digital kits. And I love this little girl. And then this is some of that gold tape that I was saying. I'm going to show you how to create that in a minute. So that is that little pocket. And then on this page, I think I just added this silver, this fabric here. And then on the back cover, I added a belly band here. And then on the inside, I put a prayer card and a tag. And then this is just part of a song that I wrote. I wrote um, some of the lyrics that I really like. So... That is the little booklet and I don't know I just really liked playing in this book and it's so little that it was kind of fun to just collage and you know it's always just like an artistic expression to play with paper and to combine little bits of journaling with paper collage is always so fun. So we all love that so so yeah so now I am going to show you really quickly before I go um let me see. Did I go over all the questions? The stencil I told you about. Um, I was, oh, I know. Another person asked me about the embossed papers. So those are embossed papers with an embossing machine and an embossing folder. And um, you, you basically have a folder and you put your paper in it and then you run it through this machine. So that isn't something that you buy. It's more like something that you make. And if you go on YouTube and Google 
embossing papers. You'll find lots of videos and I even have a video on my channel about it as well. So let's see. Um, yeah, so let's do the gold tape. So my mom is the one that kind of showed me this. She created some gold tape and she gave me some. And then I ended up using a little bit of a different product than her, but it's still basically the same thing. So um, you just get uh, scotch tape. Well, this is just transparent. It's like a generic version of scotch. And it's just transparent, multi-purpose multi -purpose tape. This one is glossy finish. I've never tried it on anything that isn't glossy, so I'm not sure how that would turn out. And then you just take a piece of tape and put it down on some parchment paper. And then I showed you this pen um, in a video a while back, but basically it's a oil-based paint pen. And it's gold. It's like a gilded gold by Craftsmart. I got this at Michael's. But you can uh, Google search it and figure out where you could get it. But basically, I just take it and push down because the paint comes out like that onto the tape. And then you need to use a little paintbrush and just smear it onto this tape like this. I might have, had, I might have a little bit too much paint. On there but just kind of move it around until it looks good I like to do that like back and forth motion and then uh, it dries fairly quickly so you can kind of keep going and do like multiple different pieces at one time like my mom gave me like a whole sheet of ones that she made and then just Follow that same, follow that same process. And then you have some gold tape. And I would let it dry for about 10 minutes and then you'll be good to go. So then um, it kind of reminds me of like that age tape that you use like the alcohol inks for only this this one is gold and then when you're done you have this like gold tape that you can add to you know just cut it to size and and create with on your journals and it adds a little bit of just shimmer I love that so much I think that little bit of shimmer looks really cute so like you can see on this I used it on there so there you have it guys I hope you enjoyed seeing the flip through of my final little booklet and I loved seeing that there were so many of you that wanted to make one so that is so fun and they really are just super super simple so I love the simple projects so I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time bye